this moment is a blessed moment i'm here to heal you believe in me i am your god lord i surrender You were trying to hide from everyone around. My dear sisters and brothers, the nature of god is spiritual and that means not material and that means god is not visible we cannot see god as we see each other because we have a material body god's nature is pure spirit but god did something wonderful he chose to take a visible body to come down to us and to remain with us for what purpose for the purpose of saving us to take upon himself every pain all the sin and misery of human kind he went about healing every sick person comforting every sad person and saving all the broken families this one word that occurs in the gospels again and again when jesus saw the sick and the broken people his heart moved within him the translation in english is he had compassion for them but the original word used is his heart moved within him a god has a heart that moves within him when god sees the sick the misery of human beings his heart moved within him that is the heart of god that is a hope the heart of god is not hardened the heart of god is a heart that moves within him when he sees the pain the misery of you and me that is our hope and the lord has manifested his heart to us when we read the healing events in the gospels we should not merely think these are historical events historical events recorded for us for a historical curiosity that's what jesus did when he lived in his earthly sojourn no no the gospels are not mere historical books the gospels are written to tell us who is god what is the nature of god if that's what jesus did 2000 years ago that's what jesus is doing today the gospels are written to tell us what god is doing all the time 
because the letter to Hebrews tells us Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Shall we say praise the Lord for that? Hallelujah. 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 That's why he wanted to stay with us. Jesus, the Son of God, has three forms. The one form, the glorious form of God, the Son of God. The second person of the Holy Trinity, the eternal form of the second person of God. And then the human form. The human form that Jesus took from Mother Mary. Jesus born in Bethlehem and he grew up in the carpenter's shop in Nazareth. At the age of 30, he came out for his public ministry, going about doing good to everyone, healing the sick, forgiving the sinners, saving the families. And that human form Jesus offered on the cross offered to be broken, to be shed, in order to save us. But before offering that human form on the cross, Jesus made a decision, a decision to continue to stay with us till the end of times. In another form, in another visible form, in the form of bread, that's what he did in the Last Supper. Taking the bread, he said to the apostles, take it and eat it. This is my body. Take it and drink it. This is my blood. He wanted to dwell with us in a visible form of bread and wine. He continues to live with us till the end of times to continue the same compassionate ministry of Jesus. Today, Jesus is coming to us in the form of bread. But we must know the fact that Jesus is coming to us in the form of bread. He's not less glorious. He's not less compassionate. He's not less divine. The same glorious, the same compassionate, the same divine form that Jesus is coming to us in the form of the sacred host is coming to us to heal us today. To look at every one of us and to ask us what he asked Bartimaeus, the blind beggar of Jericho in the marketplace what do you want me to do for you? We will tell him. We will tell him whatever we are suffering from. Uh, bodily aches and ailments, a mental distress, everything gone wrong with our family, all the burden of our heart. We will tell him everything we are suffering from. And the Lord is coming to fulfill the promise. I will comfort you. I will give you rest. The rest Jesus gave to Bartimaeus. The rest Bartimaeus experienced as sight to his eyes. The rest the paralyzed man experienced as the power for his legs to get up and walk. The rest, the man with the withered arm experienced when he could raise his arms, having a future for him. The rest, that every sick person, every sad person, every broken person experienced in the power, in the presence of Jesus, let us welcome him. Let's welcome him to look into his eyes and surrender. To offer to him all that we are suffering from. Believing the Lord is coming today. Having compassion 
on every one of us let's all kneel down those of you who can let's kneel down in worship in surrender let's kneel down to tell him lord here i am to worship you to accept you as my lord and savior to offer to you all that is wrong in my body in my mind in my life i want to wait in your presence to experience your compassion let us sing together when i look into your holiness when i gaze into your loveliness when all things that surround become shadows in the light of you when i find the joy of reaching your heart when my world becomes enthroned in your love when all things that surround become shadows in the light of you i worship you
Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, praise you, praise Jesus. You. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus, praise you, Lord. Let's all stand up. Lena, Irfan, Maria, Santosh, Jennifer, Carolyn, Peter, Fatima, Philomena, Agnello, the Lord is telling you, I am the Lord that healeth thee. A revelation God gave to the people of Israel. When God took them out of the land of Egypt, on the way to the desert. That revelation the Lord is giving to every one of you. The Lord calls some people by name, but the message is for everyone. The Lord calls some people by name to assure every one of you that He knows your name, He knows your pain, he knows your struggles. Take the message for you personally and claim it from the heart of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Please be seated. My dear sisters and brothers. Let me read for you from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 5 to 13. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. He said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I too am a person subject to a Authority with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen, I say to you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I said to you, many will come from the east and the west and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom will be driven out into the outer darkness where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. And Jesus said to the centurion, you may go as you have believed. Let it be done for you. And that very hour, his servant was healed. The gospel of the Lord. A faith. Jesus was amazed about. What was so amazing about the faith of the centurion? Centurion was a Roman citizen. 
and he comes and calls Jesus Lord. In fact, he was not permitted as a Roman citizen, he was not permitted to call Jesus Lord because there was an edict from Roman Caesar that only the Roman Caesar was to be called Lord and God. Only Roman Caesar had authority over the whole humankind as they thought the whole world. And Roman Caesar was to be called the Lord and God. And this centurion who had 100 soldiers under him, he was in charge of the law and order in Kavanaugh, part of the Roman authority and he calls Jesus Lord you know why being in Capernaum the centurion had known all that Jesus was doing in the Sea of Galilee Capernaum was by the shore of the Sea of Galilee in the Sea of Galilee the waves and the storm obeyed Jesus. When Jesus rebuked, the storm obeyed, the waves obeyed. The water in Cana obeyed and was turned to wine when Jesus commanded. Even death obeyed. The dead man came to life. And the centurion knew it all. The sickness obeyed. The paralysis obeyed. The leprosy obeyed. And the centurion knew, not Roman Caesar, but Jesus. Jesus was the Lord and God. The centurion came to Jesus to tell him, my servant is suffering dreadfully at home of paralysis. Jesus offers, I will come and heal him. And the centurion tells him, Lord, I'm not worthy that you enter into my house, but why? You just say the word, the word of authority. You have authority over the paralysis of my servant. I know what authority means. The Roman Empire was structured on authority and obedience. Caesar on top and centurion was one spare part of authority. And he said, I tell one servant, go, and he goes, he obeys. Another servant, come, and he obeys. What did the centurion mean? Lord, you have authority over the paralysis of my servant. You just say the word of authority that paralysis will obey, accepting Jesus as the Lord and God and Savior. And that's why Jesus said, not even in Israel have I found a faith so great. And Jesus said to him, let it happen to you as you believed. Shall we say praise the Lord for that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. My dear sisters and brothers, same Jesus is with us today in the glorious form, but humble form of bread. Bread has something very special. Bread means love. Bread is made by those who toiled who toiled to feed the hungry. Bread is a sign of love. That is the sign that Jesus wanted us to be with bread. 
that's the form the Lord has taken to be with us. How much He cares for you and for me. It's a really glorious form. And we want to accept Him as the Lord. You may have a pain in your body, a dysfunction of your glands, a problem of any part of your body, whatever your problem, you and I, we want to tell Jesus, Lord, you have authority over every pain, every problem in my body. It could be diabetics, it could be cancer, it could be a sickness in my eyes, whatever my problem is. You have authority. It's enough that he said the word, I shall be healed. Between your sickness, my brother, my sister, between your sickness and your healing, there's only one thing, your faith. Jesus said, you tell this mountain to go and fall into the ocean, you have faith, that mountain will obey. There are mountains in our life. Heavy, huge, terrible mountains. Whatever that mountain is. The Lord said to the centurion, let it happen to you as you believed. And the Lord is going to tell us this from the altar. Let it happen to you as you believed. Let's all kneel down. On our knees, we want to surrender. Ezekiel, Esther, John, Manuel, the Lord is looking at you and know this he's doing something new in your life as God said in Isaiah 43 18 I'm going to do something new in your life look at the face of Jesus and claim it in faith Whatever the Lord is waiting to do for you today, to for every one of us today, let us surrender. Surrender in faith. Every pain, every ailment, every problem, every anxiety, let us offer it all to Him. And believe this, it's going to happen to us as we believe let's sing together surrendering here I am down on my knees again surrendering all surrendering Hands up to him, I surrender. I want to know you more. I want to know you more. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. Joshua, surrender. Desmond, 
surrender. I surrender. I surrender. Here I am, down on my knees again, surrendering all, surrendering all. And find me here, Lord, as you draw. Desperate for you. I'm desperate for you. Desperate for you. I surrender. I surrender. Jalaluddin, I surrender. I surrender. I want to know. and grace unfold I hunger and thirst I hunger and thirst With arms stretched wide I know you hear my cry Speak to me now Speak to me now I surrender. I surrender. Kamara Ashi surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I want to know.
surrender I surrender I surrender I surrender I want to know you more I want to know you more I want to know you more I want to know you Please be seated. Stella Jerry Bilkis Belinda Mini Richard The Lord is telling you, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe in me. Hallelujah. 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 My dear sisters and brothers, for a few minutes, let's pray. Let's pray for others. Moments of intercessory prayer. Prayer. I'm sure when you came for the retreat, a lot of people asked you to pray for them. Perhaps you forgot to pray for them. People who are sick, people who are distressed, we want to pray for them now. This is a very sick world, a world of pain that we are living in. We want to pray for all of them. We don't know their names, but Jesus knows their names. We want to intercede for them. This is a moment Mother Mary is praying for us. All the angels and saints are praying for us. It's a moment heaven is opened, interceding for us. Let's also pray for everyone in this community God has brought every one of us together let's pray for each one here and those of you having a problem of the eyes could you please stand up we want to pray for you having a problem of the eyes perhaps the doctors have told you you are slowly losing your eyesight or perhaps you are getting a constant watering of the eyes or whatever other cornea problem you have, we want to pray for you. With a lot of love in our hearts, we want to pray for you that Jesus who healed Bartimaeus and all the blind people who came to him, the Lord may have mercy on you now and heal you. Those of you having a problem of hearing, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you. 
that the Lord's mercy and compassion may flow into you and heal you now. Those of you having a chronic problem of indigestion or any other problem of the stomach, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you. Those of you having a problem of the kidneys, kidney stone, or any other problem of, this, of the kidneys, could you please stand up? And those of you having a problem of the lungs, asthmatic problem, or any other problem of the stomach, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you uh, of, the, of the lungs. Uh, or those of you having a problem uh, of migraine headache uh, or epilepsy, uh, could you please stand up? Uh, we want to pray for you. That God's mercy may descend upon you now and, and heal you. And uh, those of you having uh, the, the couples unable to bear children, finding it difficult to have children, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you. And uh, those of you cancer survivors, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you that the Lord may heal you completely. Your healing could be completed by the power of the Lord. And those of you having a problem of the skin, any skin problem, we want to pray for you that God's mercy and compassion may flow into you now and heal you. Those of you sitting down and standing up, you may reach your hand out and touch. Touch one person standing up to obey the command of the Lord in love, in love reaching our hands out and laying our hands on the sick person, on the sick person near you with love, a love of Jesus, so that the person you are touching may be healed by the power of the Lord. So feel the touch, feel it's the Lord touching you and healing you. Let's believe this. The Lord is healing you now. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. We trust in your mercy, Lord. Your Hallelujah. compassion, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, we praise you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Lord, we, we, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Lord Jesus. We thank you. Have mercy upon my brothers and sisters. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. We bless you. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We bless you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You may remove your hands and please be seated. And now, my dear sisters and brothers, those of you having a problem of the back, an acute backache, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you that God's power may descend into your back and heal you. Those of you having a problem of the knee joints, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you that God's power may descend into your knee joints and and heal you. Those of you having a problem of the shoulders, because of the stiffness and pain of the shoulders, you are not even able to raise your arms up. Uh, those of you having that problem, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you. Those of you having the problem of osteoarthritis, could you please stand up? Because of that, the joints are stiff and, and hurting. Could you please stand up? We want to pray for you. And those of you having um, any other, any other bodily ailment, could you please stand up? We want to pray for you. We want to pray that God's mercy, God's power, God's compassion may flow into you now at this moment and heal you. And those of you standing up and those of you sitting down, reach your hand out and touch. Touch one person standing up that the power of the Lord, the power of the Lord may descend upon you and heal you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're the master, Lord. We trust, we trust in you. In your power, Lord, your healing power. Listen upon my brothers and sisters, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We believe in your power, Lord Jesus. 
we believe, oh God, we believe. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You may remove your hands and let's all now stand up. Let's all now stand up and claim the power, the power of the Lord descending upon us now. Let's all sing together. Heal me, O oh God. Heal me, O oh God. Uh, waiting, waiting for the power, for the power of the Lord descending, descending upon us and healing every one of us. Healing every one of us. Let's sing together. Heal me, O oh Lord, and I will be Save me, and I will be saved. Heal me, O oh Lord, and I. You are the one I trust. You are the one I trust. You are the one I trust, Jesus. You are the one I trust. You are the one I trust. Power, Lord Jesus, your power, your power, Lord Jesus, your compassion, your compassion descend, descend upon my brothers and sisters. Praise you, Lord Jesus, your power, your power, Lord Jesus, your power, Lord, descend upon every one of my brothers, every one of my brothers and sisters. Have mercy, Lord Jesus, have mercy, Lord, your power, Lord. Your healing power, your compassion, Lord Jesus. Your compassion come upon my brothers, my brothers and sisters of God. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord Jesus. We believe in your power, Lord Jesus. We believe in your power. Jesus, we believe. Have mercy upon my brothers, O oh God. Jesus, my brothers and my sisters, you came to heal. You came to save. You came to show your compassion. My brothers and my sisters, they trust in you, O oh God. In you, O oh God. You, O oh God, in your power, Lord. In your power. Jesus, we praise you, Lord. You praise you. We thank you, O oh God. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise you. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Jesus. 
praise you lord my dear brothers and sisters uh, feel the power i'm sure some of you you came here when you came here you had that terrible pain stiffness of your shoulders because of the stiffness of your shoulders you could not raise your arms up and now you felt the power the power of the lord jesus carried his cross on his shoulders and his shoulders were broken and by the merits of the wounds on the shoulders of jesus the lord has healed your shoulders and now those of you who could not raise your arms up you are able to raise your arms up those of you who could not raise your arms up earlier because of your shoulder problem raise your arms up and see you will realize you are able to raise your arms up now your shoulders are healed those of you who got that healing come forward come forward to praise and thank the lord Let's clap our hands and praise our God. Rejoice, rejoice in what the Lord has done for our brothers and sisters. We praise, we praise and thank our God for what God has done to our brothers and sisters. A God is great. A God is compassionate. A God is a living Lord, loving God. We praise him. We thank him for what God has done to our brothers and sisters. We praise your God. and some of you my dear sisters and brothers you had a problem with your knee joints you could not bend your knee joints it always hurt when you bend your knee joints now bend your knee joints and see you bend your knee joints and see you are able to bend your knee joints and there's no pain anymore the lord has taken away the lord when he when he fell carrying the cross heavy cross on his shoulders when he fell he fell on his knee joints his knee joints were broken but the merits of the wounds on his knee joints the lord has healed the knee knee joints the wounds the pain of the knee joints of my brothers and sisters here now bend your knee joints and see if you can feel the healing come forward come forward to praise and thank the lord let's rejoice in the healing a god has given to us come forward come forward come forward come forward to praise and thank the lord clap our hands clap our hands and praise our god come forward to praise and thank the lord let's rejoice in what god is doing what god is doing to our brothers and sisters we have a god whose heart is melting all the time whose heart is moving all the time for us a god who is compassionate and merciful and some of you had a problem with your back an acute back ache you could not you could not bent over you could not bent over and now bent over and see your back ache the lord is healed your back ache the lord is healed if you can feel that healing if you can really feel that healing of your back come forward come forward rejoicing to praise and thank the lord you can bend forward and see you realize your back ache the lord is healed if you can testify if you can feel the healing the pain of your back the lord is healed come forward come forward to praise and thank the lord the lord is raising you up as a witness to him as a witness to him to the ends of the earth come forward come forward to praise to praise and thank the lord come forward come forward a god a god is always there for us when we call upon him as god has said to us through the prophet jeremiah even before you call upon me i will answer you god who is always compassionate always there for us some of you had a problem of your eyes of course you need to go to the doctor and the doctor will confirm your healing but already now the lord has given you a sign a sign uh, that you are healed the sign could have come to you as a very strange and pleasant sensation in your eyes a sensation you never had before a very strange and pleasant sensation in your eyes if you have that sensation 
um, there's a very clear sign God has given you that God has healed your eyes. Later, you need to go and check. The doctor will confirm your healing. But God has given you that sign already now. So, so we got that sign. Could you please come forward to claim that healing from the Lord? We praise you, Lord Jesus. We thank you. Jesus, we praise you, Lord. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. You are the Lord. You are the Master. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Let's all kneel down for the blessing of the Lord. The Lord is blessing us. Let us praise Him. Let's thank Him. From this moment, we will not complain about our sickness. We will praise God. The Lord's power is flowing into us. And what the Lord has started today, the Lord will complete in God's own time. We will wait and pray for God's work to be completed in us. Let us worship Him and adore Him and receive the healing the Lord has given us. Jesus, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, sacrament, most holy. Oh, sacrament, divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment. Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment that. 